In this video, I'm going to show you auto expanding the MIDI editor in Reaper. Now, if you're like me and you record a lot of MIDI, you might notice one problem with the Reaper defaults regarding the MIDI editor. So let's record some MIDI. I have a piano track right here. I'm going to record a MIDI part. We'll take it out of record. Now to edit this MIDI, we can double click the MIDI item, which opens up the MIDI editor. And we can edit our MIDI right in here. But you notice these notes don't expand to take up the full size of the MIDI editor. We could change that by using our mouse wheel to zoom horizontally and scroll down, zoom in vertically to get the size perfect. But this takes a bit of time each time. Instead, there's an action we could add to do this for us. So let's go up here to the Actions menu and choose Show Action List. And notice in the section, it defaults to the MIDI editor. If it doesn't, just choose it right here. Then we can go to the filter and search Zoom Content. And there's an action right here that's going to do exactly what we need. We can double click it and notice it zooms perfectly. But we could also add a keyboard shortcut to this. I'm going to add a function key that I'm not using. And now, if we record that piano again, now we could double click this MIDI item. It starts out like this again, hit that keyboard shortcut. And it expands or auto expands to the size of the MIDI editor, both horizontally and vertically, to see all the notes on our screen so we can edit them easier. But I find a better way to do this is to go to the section for the MIDI editor. And instead of using a keyboard shortcut, we could use a toolbar button. So we could right click up here, customize this toolbar, and go down here to add. A new action. We'll choose this one, select it, and close it. And the action shows up right here. Let's give this its own button by right clicking. I'm going to type into the filter MIDI. I kind of like this button. So now it's going to show up like this right over here. So if we record that piano again, We could double click to open the MIDI editor. It looks like this. Hit this button, and it auto expands to the size of the MIDI editor. So you can see all the notes from left to right, top to bottom, perfectly. Let's try the same thing with drums. I'm going to record a drum part. Double click to open up the MIDI editor. And again, it looks like this. With it being too squished over here, and if we scroll down, there's some notes we didn't see because they were too far down below our view. But now, all we got to do is hit this button and it switches it so we can see all the notes perfectly the highest notes, the lowest notes, the leftmost notes, and the rightmost notes. Of course, we can still tweak it ourselves by zooming in horizontally or vertically. But if we want to get back at any point and see everything, just hit this button. And it goes back to that view perfectly based on the MIDI part we perform. And if we zoom in and we're happy with this, Reaper will keep that setting. So if we close it and reopen it, it goes back to this. When we first start off, it tends to look like this. Select so like a start each time by hitting this button. 
And if I ever need to get back to it again, it's always right here. To auto expand based on the notes in the MIDI editor in this item. So that's pretty much it. That's how to auto expand the MIDI editor in Reaper. Hope you learned something. Hope you could use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.